It's about that time to round up another batch of useful websites. This is the first edition of the new year. Welcome back. I've got 10 websites to show you in various categories that some of you may know, along with websites that you wish you knew about earlier. Coming up next on Tech Gumbo. First up is PDF Drive. This is for those of you that were requesting another source to download eBooks. On their homepage, you'll see a list of books that are trending. At the top, you could do a search, or you could select one of the several categories listed on the right to browse their selection. I'll select Technology, and you'll see several books that are listed. If you select one of the eBooks, it will open a new page where you can preview and download the PDF. On this page, you'll also see a listing of similar books that may be of interest to you. PDF Drive is free to use with no ads or download limits. Code and Game is for you programmers out there looking to improve your skills in a fun and interesting way. It lets you code a browser-based game with more than 25 languages to choose from. You can also create multiplayer games that you can play with your friends. When you're ready, select Get Started. It will first ask you to sign up, or you can continue without an account by selecting the X. When you first start out, it will give you a basic tutorial. Just follow the steps. This one lets you know that solo and multiplayer coding games are turn-based. Select a programming language. I'll go with C++. And in this step, it wants me to copy and paste this code into the editor. It shows you to enter the code here. So I'll paste it, then I'll select got it to move to the next step. And this next step wants me to run the code by selecting play test case. Then you can watch your code in action. I'll leave the rest of this for you to discover on your own. Coding game is a cool way to learn the basics of programming. Still Tasty has information to let you know how long you can keep thousands of foods and beverages. It's very similar to a site that I showed you a few months back called Eat By Date. On Still Tasty, you'll see that you can browse shelf life information by category. I'll select Dairy and Eggs. The categories are organized in alphabetical order, and there are several pages in this category, so this is not the most efficient way to find what you're looking for. Back on their homepage, I have found that doing a search works a lot better. So I'll do a search for Cheesecake. The search gives me two options to choose from, commercially frozen or freshly baked. I'll select freshly baked. Now it lets me know that if I store that cheesecake in the refrigerator, it will last for one week, and freezing it will make it last for two to three months. There are also tips here that can help you out. Still Tasty is a useful site to determine the shelf life of food. SciMath is a math problem solver with steps to show your work which can help you to learn certain concepts. It's simple to use. You could either enter in a problem or choose one of the many topics. If you select the virtual keyboard icon, you can find symbols that you may not have on your physical keyboard. Now I'll enter in a problem to show you how it works. Once you have your problem entered, select Solve. It will now show you all the steps that are needed to solve your problem. They do offer a premium version called SciMath Plus, which is not needed, but does contain many useful features. One of those features will show you why a step is taken, which can be helpful in the learning process. SciMath also has an app for iOS and Android. Quickie removes the links from Wikipedia pages to make copying and pasting into document software like Microsoft Word a lot easier without the need for you to remove those links individually. This can be useful for homework assignments or other presentations. I'll demonstrate. Here on the Wikipedia page for Apple, you can see there are a lot of blue links. Go to the address bar and copy the URL. And then back on Quickie, paste that link. And then hit enter on your keyboard. Now you have that same Wikipedia page without any of the links. Now you can go in and copy any of that page that you need. Here at the bottom, you have two options. You can copy the entire article to your clipboard to paste it wherever you need to. And you can open Google Docs to paste it on there if you want. Just remember when using Wikipedia as a source that the information is sometimes less than reliable. 
Gravit Designer is a free cross-platform vector design app that can be used in your browser without the need to download any software. It contains several tools that you would find in other programs like Adobe Illustrator and Inkscape. What many of you will appreciate is the clean looking interface. If you have used vector design software before, this shouldn't be too difficult for you to figure out. If you need further help, they do have tutorials on YouTube and they have an active forum to get help with your issues. Whether you're working on graphics for websites, marketing materials, or icons, Gravit Designer is one you should consider. Two Foods is a food comparison tool that compares the nutritional data of two food items so you can make healthier food choices. It couldn't be any easier to use. Enter a food item, then enter another food item in the box to the right. Then click on compare. Obviously banana was going to be the healthier of those two choices. You can also compare food from restaurants as well. Let's see which one is healthier. A Big Mac from McDonald's? or a Whopper from Burger King. It looks like the Big Mac is the healthier of the two, but not by much. When in doubt, when you can't decide between two food choices, check out Two Foods. Movie Map can help you find similar movies to the ones you like, which can help you to find something new to watch. It's made by the same people that make the Music Map website, which I showed you in a previous video. Enter a movie. Let's go with Pulp Fiction. On Movie Map, the closer the names of other films are to the movie you searched, the more likely they are similar. According to the site, the closest one to Pulp Fiction is Fight Club. When you're having trouble finding a film to watch, give Movie Map a try. Hacksplaining was created to teach developers about security vulnerabilities. You can learn to hack on this site too. Learning how to hack is one of the best ways to learn how to protect yourself from attacks. There are several lessons to choose from, including SQL injection, cross-site scripting, clickjacking, and many others. Some of the courses require that you sign up to get access. At this time, there is no cost to use this site. If you're a newer developer, Hacksplaining is a website that you should know about. I'll leave you today with Instructables. This website specializes in user-created and uploaded do-it-yourself projects. This site's been around for more than 10 years, and I'm still surprised when people tell me they have never heard of it. Navigating the site is easy. You could do a search here at the top, or select from one of several categories, including technology, workshop, home, and many others. I'll select technology. You'll see several DIY projects listed. For those of you that own an Echo Dot, this one might be useful for you. If you move your mouse cursor over technology, you'll see a listing of the various categories. Holding your cursor over each choice will show you subcategories to the right that you can choose from. If you're looking for a cool new project, check out Instructables. Thanks for watching. All links as usual are in the description. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this from this channel. If you know of a useful website that could benefit others, let me know in the comments. And if you're new here, click on the subscribe button and bell notification icon for more useful websites and other tech-related stuff from Tech Gumbo.